Please. You're a bell end. For emergency vehicles, get off the ramp. There's no, there's no yellow box here saying I can't block it. You're a bell end. Okay. Move out the way. I'm quite capable of moving out the way of vehicles Go by on. myself. Move out the way. When there's a vehicle coming, or move out the way of the vehicle. Vehicle coming. Move. Yeah, it goes up the left hand side, okay, doesn't move it? Move out the way now. We told you where the band is. Oh, fucking come on then. Don't act like a knob. You're the one fucking Stay pushing there. me. Yes. And I'm on the you. pavement, and you, I'm on here Stay. now, and you right. still fucking Stay pushed there, me. Then. You still fucking pushed right. me. Don't come on. You're a fucking bell end. Okay. Okay guys, so uh, PTTP is here in Peterborough, uh, Peterborough in Cambridgeshire. Um, I came here, oh it must have been November, December last year, but it was quite late when I came, the station was all closed up, did have a little bit of interaction with uh, DC or DS, Harriet something I want to say her name was. But, um, yeah, so I haven't actually been here while the station's been open and stuff like that, so I'm going to go have a little look around, really. And see what's going on. So... Called Thorpe Wood Police Station in Peterborough. And we're going to pop up here and have a look around, see what's on offer in the public lobby bit. So they have uh, advertising on their notice board. And they have the map of the city of Peterborough with the street index next to it. Cool. No place for hate. So yeah, there's a few people in there, so I'm not gonna um, video them. Gate open down this way, let's have a look and see what's down here. I see a sign on the end of the fence here saying that the property office is down here. Another sign there. So we're on a Monday today. And, uh, yeah, so it's not open. It's only open on a Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, closed for an hour for lunch, but generally 9 to 3.30. And uh, that's it. So I don't know how you would actually go about getting a detention to get, the, get to the property store. So I'm assuming you come in this way somehow. It's got like a keypad there. It's got signage saying, uh, please stand here. They've still got a sign up saying, as per government guidance, please wear a face covering when entering the building, so that's all uh, out of date. Which is a shame. But yeah, so you can see a few marked vehicles there. Uh, that one's just been left there by a constable we just saw go past. It's just been left there idling. Uh, 
Yeah, they got a little, they got a van there, which is interesting. So it looks like that's where their custody cells are. You can always tell those windows there. They are custody cell windows. All good, thank you. What are you up to? Pardon? What are you doing? Just taking some photos, isn't it? Of? Police vehicles around the area, what's what around? Reason? Pardon? For what reason? Just interested in it, really. Matters of public interest, that's all. Okay, it's just a little bit suspicious. Do you understand that? Not really. You don't think taking videos of uh, secure police premises and particular police vehicles is suspicious? Not really. No? No. Fine. You stayed outside of the fence, no worries. Obviously. Oh, I can't climb, I'm not going to climb over the fence, don't worry. Bizarre. Look at that number plate. I missed it. That the fence was in the way. So yeah, we've got the uh, Suspicion Police out on patrol in Peterborough already. And as always guys, come on my, on my motorbike, so I am wearing a high-vis jacket. Obviously not being covert in any way, shape or form. Um, so yeah. Yeah, so um, that's where the property office is anyway. Looks like, uh, sounds like that chap was heading out on a blue light run. Got a police van coming in at the side there. Couldn't make it up. Donuts. Love it. Just walk through with a tray of Krispy Kreme donuts. Talk about reinforcing the stereotype. So this is the sort of vehicle entrance area. So they have a garage down on the bottom which some vehicles go in and out and then they've got an area at the top there for marked units. So we'll just check out the signage. Pedestrians to use front entrance vehicle access only. Oh, I'm not accessing their site. I can't remember who it was that came in. I think it might have been uh, Matt or Yardley maybe. I remember seeing somebody came here. And they were stood on the grass verge, obviously. There's no clear boundary as to where police property starts in terms of this area. As you can see, I think where I was stood was just around the other side of that, that corner there. I think that's where the property office is. Got some other, another marked police vehicle there. Got some 
strange person there, sort of hovering, uh, smoking, I think. We've got a police van coming in and police car, both driven by PCSOs by the looks of it, sort of the blue t shirt. So they got all these, quite a lot of vehicles here in Peterborough. It does have a high crime rate here, um, unfortunately. So I think it was voted Bella. third in Bella. the. You need to go back over there. Pardon? You can't come in there. You need to go back over there. Why? Well, what's wrong with here? That's the boundary line over there where that sign is, mate. All right. What sign? Okay, I was just going to get a few shots of these vehicles and that was it. But okay, I'd ask you to move over there, please. Okay. As I was saying, guys, so it's, yeah, it's um, reported as being like the third, I think it was, worst place to live in the UK. Um, like I said, uh, the crime right here, crime rate here is high. Um, right, it's time to move on now. I finished, walking the wrong way. I haven't finished getting my shots yet. Uh, Pardon? We don't mind you filming, but you need to be in the hospital. Who are you guys? Sergeant. Come on. Okay. Uh, uh. Then walk then. There was no need to get physical. I'm walking away. You can stop touching me now because I'm walking away. You can stop touching me now. Sergeant 1096. That's me. I am walking away and you're still touching me. You're not walking away though. I am. Am I not walking? Is that not walking away? Turn and face that way. You're a fucking dickhead, mate. That's what you are. Fuck off. Tell me not to swear. I can swear over you if I want to. There's no need to fucking push me like that. We told you where the boundary is. Yeah. Get out. And I'm walking back. Why okay. the fuck are you pushing me like that move, for? You absolute bellend. Because of your attitude. You're a so bellend. Move over there. You're a bellend. Get off the ramp. Move over there, please. You're a bellend. For emergency vehicles, get off the ramp. There's move. no there's no yellow box here saying I can't block it. You're a bellend. Okay. Move out the way. I'm quite capable of moving out of the way of vehicles Sorry. by myself. Move out the way. When there's a vehicle coming or move out the way of the vehicle. vehicle coming. Move. Yeah, it goes up the left hand side, doesn't it? Move out the way now. We told you where the boundary is. Oh, fucking come on then. Don't act like I'm not. You're the one fucking Stay pushing there. me. Yes. And I'm on you. the pavement and you I'm on here Stay now and you right. still fucking Stay pushed there, me. Then. You still fucking pushed right. me. Don't come on. You're a fucking bell end. Okay, whatever you say. Who's your inspector? What's your collar number there? 1096. Yours? 1995. Like you 1995. I'm trying to read your collar number. You're a fucking bell end. Both you sergeants, my fucking ass. You wait till your inspector gets hold of this. Yeah. Fucking dickhead. Yeah, well, if I just come back on now. That's the sergeants of Peterborough. I walk away and they still fucking put hands on me. Absolute dickheads. So they're saying this is the boundary line, apparently, despite the fact that their barriers are down there. You know, the level of de-escalation skills from two sergeants there was absolutely appalling. You would think that they're training would be to a higher standard than that but evidently it's not not bad stuff yeah not bad um, so I just can't say, are you an officer are you staff here no I'm, 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 I'
So oh, just so you know, because obviously... PC, we, DC, Inspector? I'm a, I'm a normal PC. PC, oh, yeah. Sorry, PC, PC. Oh. That's my colleague um, there. No um, yeah, obviously I can see you recording. Are you auditing or something like that? Just taking some pictures and that. Um, is there an inspector on duty at the station today? There'll be many inspectors inside. Yeah. Um, well, I've just uh, what I believe to be assaulted by two sergeants. Okay. Um, so if you, if you can get an inspector out, I'd love to report that to them. I'm happy to show them the footage. Uh, okay, okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So, but, the, so the reason why... Minute, you're in sure, sure. Yeah. Well, again, I mean... There was nothing saying that it's private uh, property, no unauthorised uh, access or anything like no, that, of you I, know. Of course, I, I, uh, do you want, I'll talk plainly. Yeah, yeah. I won't walk cool. around, OK? There are different people who audit and things like that. Sure, sure. Sometimes people try and push buttons, right? so I'll just speak plainly. Yeah, that's cool, no worries. Organized. I get there was, there's nothing there. Yeah, we've just got a simple barrier. There's no fence in there. Yeah, I do yeah. appreciate that. i will let you know at the moment now, this is private property. Mm -hmm. I'm sure you can appreciate we do have to keep areas secure and secure as can be it's not very secure without a fence there but that's well exactly I mean there's a big old footpath coming out from the grass verge there in fairness I'd say you probably do know this is private property because it is a police station okay? I mean everything in the UK is private property though really isn't it in, in reality you know, in reality yes it's always owned by someone the yeah. Queen the Council whatever or individual exactly anyway, uh, I'm not a s civil lawyer and all that so I'm not sure. going to that I can't really have you around here mm -hmm. if you don't mind okay nothing because there's hiding anything but mm -hmm. ultimately it's a working yard there are vehicles that will fly out here responding to a media sure thing. sure as soon as I hear blue light sirens I'll be out of the way yeah, no, there's I no issue with I that I can't have you here anyway because it okay. is a secure area in the sense of the word but albeit without offence and I'm telling okay. you if I ask you to go out there on the barrier okay there's a grass verge if mm. you walk up round there you'll matter about saying you've been assaulted yeah we can report you can report that and it will be looked into if you've got video evidence excellent sure. that's what I would say to anyone when I'm dealing with an incident mm -hmm. video evidence is the best all right it's Absolutely. irrefutable cool. you, you're more than welcome to report that if you wish mm -hmm. okay best place to do it is go round to the front inquiry office okay and do it there is that okay uh yeah potentially I might go around there at some point um okay in, in the meantime I'm, I'm, I'm waiting at the moment so I'm gonna get every single vehicle private person or whatever it is coming in and out um, that's and it's fine. gonna be included on my footage but then if you could do that could you do that from outside the private I property? mean to be fair the sergeants actually said I was fine there um, that's where they physically pushed me to um, and even when I was on there they continued to so if, push if, me if you, could, if, you could, if you come sh I'll show you as far as I know and again so I, the sergeants actually said that this sign here was the demarcation of the property which Clearly, it's not because it just says pedestrian use front entrance, that's exit. Yeah, no, that, but, and that will obviously that will obviously be for notifying people who want to come speak to us. Where yeah, to go, exactly. Right? So there's no demarcation. That's I'll, not demarcation of your boundary. What I was going to say is normally I use the tree line. Okay, there is no physical line. There is no yeah. like it's it's that you know imaginary line. There is going to be a line somewhere which you know denotes the, the property boundary. Mm -hmm. If the sergeant says it's here, I'm not going to argue. I'd naturally say yeah. I think the tree line forms a kind of a natural barrier. But then, fine. Really. if the sergeant but, says that, yeah. I'm not going to argue. But then the sergeant also stood me, saw me stood there on the, the very corner of the thing and said nothing either about it being me being there. Uh, okay. He was literally watching me from the window for a good five minutes. Do you know the sergeant's there. name? Uh, 1096 and 1995 were their collar numbers. Were they a response sergeant? They came the... out of that building up there, whatever it okay. is up there. If you don't mind, if you just stay here with my colleague, I'm going to go and speak to the sergeant up there and make sure that that's correct, that he's told me where to, yeah. like, he's told you to stand. Yeah. Yeah. Because, like I say, I normally use the tree line because it kind of makes a natural sure. barrier. Do you know what I mean? I do. I understand that it does yeah. create a sort of natural barrier, but if, unless you have these to show me where the boundary is and there's nothing to stop me accessing, there's nothing to say where your property starts and where it ends. No, so there's no re there's nowhere for you to realistically say, well, this is our property, you can't be standing here, you can only stand with here. Yes, but let's try and work together and be reasonable. Because uh, I mean, at the end of the day, yeah, you are being reasonable and I do yeah, appreciate uh, that, yeah. but because of the, the, the behaviour of your sergeant, I'm not going to be reasonable with you, and, and I'm not. I'm not saying I'm going to be rude to you, but in terms of negotiating okay. where I can and cannot stand, right. I'm not going to negotiate that with you okay, based I'll, on their behaviour. I understand not that. Not on and yours, I understand and I want reasoning. you to understand that. Then, and then, so I'm upfront and clear with you, just so I am fair mm -hmm. with you. Okay, I'm going to go and clarify that, mm -hmm. all right? And if they've said, you know, wherever, I will have to enforce a level of like if we say this is where the barrier is mm -hmm. I have to ask you to stand okay. on the other side of that okay. okay and if you force me to move physically to a place I will check where your boundary is with the local council okay. and if you have moved me to a place that you have no right to move okay. me physically you will 
be liable for reprimand under that. I will be filing. They're already getting complaints of it, IOPC. You can, you can f- and until you're 100% sure where your boundary is, regardless of what your sergeant says, because unless they can prove where your boundary is, you can't move somebody and, physically. And you can't. I'm trying to be you know, reasonable. Okay, if, so if they might know. Just, you, just let my colleague and that, double that, check and we'll come back. Yeah, and yeah. I, I totally get your point, all right? And that's why I'm going to go and do everything I can and try and check mm-hmm. with them, okay? I get what you're saying there. And I say, all I'm asking is to try and be reasonable and meet each other. And again, and I'm like saying that. it's not because of you, because you have been reasonable, okay. but because of them, I'm just, not negotiating. Just bear with me, all right? Okay. I don't negotiate with assholes. That's fine, that's fine. I'm not, saying, I'm not saying that to you about them. At the end of the day, mate, as but, well, again, I can't, I can't speak to them. I don't ooh. know. Like I say, the, way, the best way I reason it is, you get assholes in every walk of life, all right? Yeah, but you have a higher expectation with the police force. I mean, you guys there, deal there with very vulnerable members of the public. No, and absolutely. You, should, you shouldn't have no, the levels of that assholeness in your force. However, and then part of that is being professional, professional. But also, yeah. at the end of the day, we deal with a lot of things, okay? We have to deal with... And not often we are meeting people who don't want to listen to us, who don't want to deal with us, even if they're trying to be reasonable. And you, you don't know what they've dealt with. They might have dealt with the various... Of, but they don't know what and, I've dealt with no, either. Absolutely. And that's the thing. But then the way they come absolutely. out to me, they came out to me and they asked me to move. I said, I'm just getting some shots of these vehicles. They watched me stand. They stood there, watched me get shots of the vehicles. Then they come down the stairs. And without further conversation, uh, one sergeant literally just started pushing me. I started walking back. As soon as I start walking to where he wants me to walk... Whether I'm walking backwards or forwards, he, the, the, the physical contact is no longer needed. I am moving. He continues to put hands on me and push me. He gets me to there, physically shoves me. The other sergeant gets hands on. Then I get to here, physically shoves me, tells me to move out of the road. You have no jurisdiction to move so, me out of the road. He tells me to move here, shoves me here. Once I'm on here, he continues to shove me. That's not acceptable. I, I wasn't there. No, I, you weren't. I, I but wasn't that's there, like, so but like I said, I'm not going to lie about it because it's all on no, camera. No, no, yeah. So, you know, so there's no point. Right? But then at the end of the day, they do have powers, okay? And it's down to them to justify it. There is powers that the police have to move people out of roads and remove people from private property. As other people, civilians, can remove people from private property. I'll go and check with them. We'll get to Give us a few secs. Ah, oh dear. So what's your caller number, sorry? 879. 879, thank you. Just so I know who I've spoken to. Yeah, it's no problem. Like I said, it's nothing to do with you two because, you know, he has yeah, been civil and well, been polite, but just the way that, you know, I understand trespassing, you have the right to use uh, reasonable force. Yeah. Reasonable I mean, force. You know, we have to just challenge if we yeah. see someone who's not in police. To be fair, I've, I've seen, like, I've had probably about 20 vehicles coming in and out, but people walking around to see me here. You're actually the first person other than the sergeants that have actually interacted with yeah. me. Um What's your main reason for coming here today, anyway? To take videos and footage and okay. that, really. Um, Is that because but, you... Do you like the police force? Well, that's or? just what I do. It's just matters of public interest. You okay. know, we're public pay for the force, um, and pay for the, the vehicles, the site, the staffing. Yeah. We like to come and have a look, really. Um, okay, fair enough. like to show people what we pay for. What um, did you work for? Pardon? Who did you work for? Independent. Independent? Yeah, yeah. Not the independent, I'm independent. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> don't want to be done for, like, libel or anything like that, saying I work for somebody I don't. Um, but yeah, I mean, reasonable force is justifiable if they come to me and they got into uh, come up to me like you guys have, and then you start started putting your hand towards me and I refuse to move. Then make contact. As soon as I start moving, that physical contact is no longer needed until I stop again. Yeah. And then so to continue like to push we, me we and there, shove so we, me. We don't know exactly yeah. what's happened. You but know? but no, it's, it's, it's not a subjective thing though. It, it's reasonable force is reasonable force there's nothing reasonable if somebody's walking away and walking to where you want them to walk you don't need to push them and shove them there's no need for that that's true there you go got that on camera that's true of course it's true but um like i said we went there we we don't know what's what's going on but it's funny because the pc pulls up sees the sergeant's doing it and does fuck all about it you know i find that disgraceful as well that other constables won't step in when they see their colleagues doing things that are uh, over what they should be doing. So you're based in Peaceborough as well? I don't give out where I'm from or anything like that. Fair enough. You can tell I've travelled. I wouldn't be walking uh, walking around day to day in like this in this weather. I've obviously travelled in the... I don't know. But... I don't know who you are. It's true.
are you doing? You're right. right. So yeah, the the sergeant has said that he's told you, and he's saying like, so the grass verge, not onto the road, please, and no further past this blue sign. Is mm -hmm. that okay? Maybe. Okay. On that, then right, I hear you saying maybe. At the moment, I'll leave you here. All right. Please don't do that. All right. Got no problem with your filming public. We're saying that's public. Okay got to understand that's a working yard there's also sensitive information there's people here whether victims or suspects that we can't have you going and seeing normals member of the public that is private okay please stay here okay. all right i mean i uh, again for you to raise with your higher ups i would strongly suggest you get a more uh, more physical barrier fencing i 100 percent agree but then yeah. the police what are they keeping out they're putting fences up and that's at the lovely no, taxpayers I'd... expense no no no, no, no. no. I, I, I agree no, with fences but, being around but, these but, but, places but that's the truth of it no to be fair i think it should because yeah. then it denotes it all right but i'm now telling you mate so that's pretty clear the sergeants also echoed that so you know you know yeah oh. so oh. You're saying maybe, but then if you then go past that, maybe that's you willfully then trespassing. I get, I get that you've had like yeah. issues with them, okay? Yeah. But then that's for your complaint, mate. Do mm -hmm. me a favour, yeah? Because we were going off to do something again. Yeah, yeah. As, as, as I was saying and to your colleague, to stop here. And in but as I was saying to your colleague, you're actually the other than the sergeants because I went to the where those vehicles are over there. You're actually the first people that have actually stopped and engaged with me, and I've been stood here nearly an hour then that's bad bad officers because they should okay um but look we're right. busy we're busy we're human we make mistakes yeah, yeah. okay like just like everyone else please don't but do that's that. like i said like i said a surgeon accidentally killing somebody say oh people make mistakes we're human there's no there's, that room for error but is then, not this is a conversation about someone standing yeah. on a road or a grass barrier not me doing heart yeah. surgery okay? yeah but the, get, but the room for the error argument. isn't there in the police we shouldn't make errors and we should learn from our mistakes yeah i should everyone okay yeah. but that's just the way it is Please don't willfully do that. If they do, then look, then they might have to look at, I don't know, anything. There's nothing they can get me. It's, civil, it's a civil well, issue, isn't it? Because, I, because, okay, well, number one, okay, num, right, I'll just say this. Wasting police time. So I'm oh, not wasting time. No, no, I'm not, on, I'm not no, forcing no, you to no, stop. Hang on, hang on. Let me just say it, and then I'm going to go, all right? This is for your benefit, because I don't want to see you get arrested. And I think it, it probably even that then further would be a waste of our time. But we will have to take an action, all right, by doing something that causes an officer to then kind of go out of the way and waste their time doing it and would have to engage with you and say mate don't stand here and have another five ten minute fifteen conversation with you that's them wasting our time okay so there it is it is it's ticking those boxes i don't think it would come to that but it's just something we might have to do so please just be reasonable film the cars whatever all right just stay where you are yeah please maybe, maybe. i'll leave it at that dude just don't just be sensible <laughs> maybe Maybe. Maybe. Oh dear. Can't stop with them making. Channel. Not saying. Why? Because I don't give it out. Why? I'm the public. I want to watch it. You'll find it. I want to like and subscribe. You'll find it. I won't, I won't try that on. <laughs> There we go. So apparently, uh, yeah. So the despite the fact that there's no uh, physical boundary, no proper signage to denote where the uh, police boundaries are and where their property line is, so they're saying it's this sign. Um, but. You know, again, there's absolutely nothing to say that this is the police area. There's no barrier there. Nothing. So we've got a vehicle coming in. SG12 JON. I said I'm not going to be reasonable with them after I've uh, had hands put on me to that extent. There's absolutely no need for it. But, uh, yeah, I think this is a works van. You can see they uh, also put double yellow lines all up the road. But 
if this is private property, then they're not legally enforceable. So I'm just going to stop and uh, check what the footage is looking like from the sergeant's putting hands on me and uh, see what we can see before I go in. Uh, I was not waiting around all day for that. Um, just going to do it through the IOPC website. Um, Yeah, we have to do it through that way, I guess. 